Hello, welcome back to uh, my channel and to today's video, which uh, is another charity shop haul. Um, bit of a twist, bit of a shocking, horrible twist for me, in that um, the YMCA, my faithful YMCA charity shop, is closing down. Unfortunately, the landlord um, who owns it has got planning permission to convert it into... Um, flats i assumed that the downstairs will stay as retail because it's on quite a busy high street um but it does mean that uh yeah their tenancy is ending in a month's time now they have reassured me that they are going to look for other premises in, within harrogate um and open again um but in the meantime my 50p sales will be no more um however because they're closing down or closing that store down um they were selling everything off at one pound. So, of course, I had to get in there and get as much as I could. Now, you might be wondering as well, if you're familiar with the channel, um, wondering where I am. I'm in my nan's garage because, as things stand, my stockroom, or my room that I use for eBay, which is also my dad's office, also my living room on a night, and also the room that my mum paints in, um, I can't put any more stuff in there. It would, it's already spilling out into the room. Um, I need to process, it's all stock that I need to process. Haven't had the time. Um, there have been uh, things going on in my life recently. Uh, one of which does involve my nan, unfortunately. Um, she is in hospital at the moment. But anyway, I'm not gonna get into that. Um, so I have been utilizing her garage since last August because all of this stuff that you can see piled up here um, is stuff from uni that came back with me when I moved and uh, all the bags is everything that I picked up today there were 28 items and it's a shame because this is a double garage with loads of floor space I'm gonna flip you around and show you properly and all it's got in it is a washing machine and tumble dryer and some units there's also this cool retro um, tape player that belongs to my um, late grandfather which um, I've got my eye on and I'm sure she will let me have. Um, but yes, it's a big space. It's a double garage with no cars in it um, and would be perfect as a tap cave. But unfortunately, I can't do that to my poor nan. So yeah, as I said, all this stuff here is from uni and these bags is what I'm going to show you now. Okay, so you will notice my outfit has changed and you are now placed properly. The other day, I was in a rush. I'd forgotten my tripod and the lighting was horrific. Um, so I did film the haul, but I've decided to refilm it today. Um, so I will take you through everything that I have bought. Um, firstly, there were three pairs. Well, actually there was more than three pairs, but uh, some of them were in really, really bad condition of um, Fairfax and Faber footwear. Now, Fairfax and Faber, for those of you who haven't heard of it, is um, a really expensive and um, like equestrian brand. So the first pair that I picked up are these um, driving shoes. They are, um, I believe they're women's, but I actually really like them. Um, they're orange suede. Um, if you're not familiar with the brand, let me show you the inside. That's what it looks like as the Fairfax bits worn away, but that's roughly what the logo looks like. Um, these are a UK 40, so I think that's either a 5 or a 6. Um, and I don't know if I said, because I filmed the other day, everything was a pound. 28 items, 28 pounds. Um, and then the other two pairs of Fairfax and Favourite shoes are men's Chelsea boots. So the black ones are in um, slightly worse condition than the brown ones. They've probably been worn more. And in this lighting, they almost look a bit blue. Um, but they you can see from the heels that they're worn down. But they're still in decent enough condition. I'm going to give them a good brush. Um, they have these um, sort of loops on the back with the um, logo on them and then yeah the brown ones are in better condition um they don't have the logo on the back but they're slightly less worn um 
Not sure what size they are. Um, oh, they're also UK 40. So who, if there's a, it might be a gentleman that's had these or it might be a lady, but they're all three pairs of 40. So it's either a lady or it's a gent with small feet. But these Chelsea boots look more masculine than feminine to me. Um, I'll have to have a look on their website. Then I picked up a pair of Kurt Geiger um, brown suede brogues. They um pretty plain, unpatterned, but in nice condition. The soles aren't worn much. Um, and yeah, um, just a nice pair of shoes for a quid. And finally, these should be 50p, but there is a pound. But I was not going to stop her when for the sake of 50p. They are just a pair of um, ladies' padders, you know. Older lady, much older lady, but the only reason I picked them up was that they had um, more or less perfect soles with the um, shock point in them, which I don't know if they're in every pair of padders, um, but anyway, thought it was worth a punt at um, a quid and I'm going to research them. They might not be worth anything and they might just get redonated, but that's not a problem. Um, can't see a size on them, but they'll all be gone somewhere. So, um, we'll start with the menswear. First up is this cardigan. Um, it's a size large, it's a wool blend, and it's by um, Gabici. It's not a brand that I've heard of um, or seen before, but it's in great condition. Um, nothing special, but thought it was worth picking up to do some research on, see if it's any good. Next up um, is this nice roll neck jumper. I know it's out of season, it's quite a thick neck jumper, but they had this out at £7.50 and it's an XL and it's by a brand called Finch Hatton, which sounds posh. I don't know if it actually is or not. Um, let me do that. Finch Hatton XL. And I'm pretty sure it's wool. Or wool blend, 65% wool. Um, and the, yeah, they've had it out at £7.50, so since they've had it out that much, I'm going to assume that they've researched it and it's worth something. So hopefully my pound will turn into many pounds. Then is just this uh, denim chambray kind of uh, shirt, fat face, and it is um, a large, it's a decent size, classic fit. And we all know fat face, it'll be 100% cotton. Then I picked up this red and white striped shirt. Um, it's Lee Cooper. I don't know if that's actually worth any money, but they'd had it all at six pounds, which for them is, is expensive. Their shirts are usually three or 350. Um, size large. Uh, it's got the nice button detailing on the shoulders. Um, It'll be either worth something or it's not. If it's the 10 to 12 region, I will redonate it because I don't have the time or the storage space to be messing around with that. And the same goes for all these shirts that I'm about to show you, but I thought, why not? They're closing down, give them a quid each. Um, this one is a Thomas Pink one. It's um, a formal shirt, so it's a 15 and a half inch neck, which is actually my size. Um, there's, I've got quite a thick neck for my size. So there's always too much material. Anyway, um, I know how much Thomas Pink shirts sell for full price because my dad used to buy them and I bought them before too. Um, whether they're worth anything uh, resale-wise, no idea. Again, we'll find out. Then we have a Hackett shirt. It's in this purple check, um, excellent condition. And it's um, two-ply cotton woven in Italy, size medium. So hopefully that one's worth something because I know Hackett's expensive. Um, we shall see. Then I'm pretty sure this will go into my wardrobe. It is a linen blend shirt. It's by a brand called John Curtis, which I've never heard of, but it's just a beige linen shirt, short sleeved, um, size large, I don't know if I said that, um, but I'll just wear that open as an oversized shirt in the summer. Um, 
when you're on holiday and the sun's beating down and you're out on a walk and you just want something to sort of cover yourself up so you don't get burned, that's the kind of thing that I would just wear open um, just to cover myself up. Or alternatively over a t-shirt if I was going out somewhere. Um, but I will still research it and see if it's worth anything so that I know to pick up the brand in future. Now this was in the men's section but I believe it's women's. It's a Tommy Hilfiger um, Oxford shirt, blue and white striped. It's a size medium. Um, it's in great condition. Now you'll see in a minute that there was a quarter zip in the women's section and that was also a size medium so I think they both come from the same donor and that's what really is leading me to believe that it must be women's. Um, I also picked up a fat face shirt. This is a bit of a retro one. Not sure if this will be worth anything because it's not necessarily nice retro, but it's fat face and fat face has been selling really well for me this year. Um, it's a size small as well, which doesn't help it, but you know, hey ho, it may well be redonated. Um, I could imagine a, a naughty's dad wearing that, but I'm not sure what naughty's dads who are now going to be in their uh, 50s. I will be looking for Y2K shirts. So that's not really something. Otherwise, if it was for uh, girls, if it was a women's shirt, we'd have to list it as Y2K. It might get some more interest. Um, I then picked up these um, MS Kles Klesione trousers. They are quite a thin knit. Um, they've got this Novified um, Italian woven fabric label on them. Um, which is why I picked them up. I didn't even realise they were MS Colezione at the time. But these um, are a flax linen blend, 55% flax linen and 45% polyester. So um, £1 for some linen trousers, and they are a size 38 waist, so they are a decent enough size as well. And finally, these were in the men's section, but I'm not sure if they, were men, if they are actually men's or women's. They are um, a, they a 30 inch waist. The lady took, the oh, they're a 28 inch waist. Um, seven for all mankind jeans in this indigo blue wash. They almost have like a striped um, feel to them with the way that the wash is on them. But I just know that they're really expensive jeans to buy full price. Whether they have resale value, who knows? But I hope so. And it's the first time I've seen that brand in a charity shop, so I picked it up. Now, moving on to women's. First up is the Tommy Hilfiger um, quarter zip. Again, this is what makes me think that the um, shirt is definitely women's. It's in great condition besides a small amount of makeup on the inside of the neck which doesn't affect wear, but also isn't particularly nice. So I'm going to put it through the wash. Um, this one, oh, sorry, this one's actually a large, ladies large. Um, the lighting isn't helping me there. There you are. Um, and I'm pretty sure this will just be cotton. It's got this sort of um, embroidered, um, debossed logo on the front of it. Uh, debossed, sorry, that was very pronunciated, wasn't it? Uh, da, 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 da. can't see a materials label in here. Maybe it was cut out. Um, I'm just going to assume that's cotton because it feels like it. Next up is a phase eight dress. I'd seen this before and didn't pick it up because it was six pounds originally. Um, which for a phase eight dress, I'm kind of like not wanting to pay anymore. Um, nice collar, pocket fronts and matching cuffs. It's a size 10 as well, so it's a small size, but for a quid, I am sure, you know, 20 to 25 perhaps. Um, although I've been finding with phase eight, I've had to be lowering my prices because it just isn't selling. Um, and therefore I haven't been picking it up recently. Then there is a vintage piece of Jaeger, and it's definitely vintage because it's made in Great Britain, and you can tell by the logo. It is this, um, like, it's a really thin jacket, but it's a size 10, and it's absolutely huge, so it's really oversized. Um, and so what I'll do is I'll take some measurements and put a um, size 10 butt fist, da, 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 unless someone wants it oversized. But yeah, it's... Um, 
an interesting blend. It's polyester, um, wool and flax linen. Um, so it's nice materials, um, apart from a bit of plastic that's in there. But yeah, vintage Jaeger for a quid. Surely can't go wrong with, with that. Um, I really seem to be finding a lot of them, and um, some of it is selling, some of it's not. Um, obviously, we're coming into the warm months now. Next up is a brand that I've never picked up. I've obviously seen it before, but I don't picked it up before. It's Jules, and it's this um, oversized green and white striped um, pocket top. And it's a, I say oversized because it's a UK 14, and I think that would probably fit a 16 um, quite easily. So it's definitely a relaxed fit, um, but it's in great condition for a quid. Usually I leave it because I think they had this out for about £4. And I don't think that Jules has an amazing resale value. Uh, I might be wrong there, I haven't done any research on it, but I don't think it's particularly... It's a nice brand. I guess Jules is a similar level to Fatface in my mind. So maybe I should have been picking up this all the time because I pick up Fatface all the time. Anyway. Um, second time seeing it in the wild at a decent price is Sea Salt. It's just this thin knit orange um, jumper, size 16, so it's a good size. Um, and again, a pound, they thought that out at 350, which I would have picked it up for 350 anyway. Um, I assume it's a nice blend of materials, unless Sea Salt's one of these brands that sells you stuff for, for a lot of money for rubbish materials. Um, it's cotton, 100% cotton, so it's fine, um, nothing particularly special. This one's quite nice because it doesn't have the fusty charity shop smell, it smells quite fresh. <laughs> Must have been a recent donation. Uh, then we have a Lindy Bop dress, um, again a brand I'm aware of but never picked up before. They'd, I'd seen it and left it, they had it out at £6 because they didn't know the resale value. But for a quid, I picked it up. It's got this gold top with this um, like tie detail, like bow detail, and a black puffy skirt. And it's cotton. It's got a cotton skirt and a polyester top, basically. So nothing incredible materials wise. But isn't Lindy Bop um, like a brand for like old fashioned dances and that, so it's like occasion wear, I guess. Um, not sure, need to do my research. Um, might not be worth anything, but you never know. Um, then we have a new of tags um, misguided dress. I wouldn't pick it up if it wasn't new, although in saying that, <laughs> that's a lie because there's another dress that I didn't pick up. Um, but it's Love and Other Things, which must be like an offshoot like they do. I've never seen before, but um, it's an extra small as well, which you wouldn't usually pick up. It's really pretty, um, sort of lacy detail on the top with gilted, um, I guess it's supposed to be like floral details. Um, a very short length um, for a petite girl. It's described as lace, wide sleeve, play suit, extra small. Oh, so there are actually shorts there. Yeah, you can see the middle seam now. And there is a belt for them for this item in the bottom of the bag somewhere. Um, so talk of the misguided offshoot um, love and other things. There was also this dress which is a size UK six, so tiny. Look at that! It's ruched. It's got big puffy sleeves. Um, you can see it's got a lot of stretch in it because, like, I know I'm not a size six. So I also don't wear women's clothing. But um, look how minuscule that waist is. Like, you wouldn't want to have lunch and then wear that, would you? Um, but anyway, it might not be worth reselling. Um, I've heard people recommend getting a vintage account, which I would do, but I don't have the time, the inclination or the storage space to be selling across multiple platforms. So if it's not worth putting on eBay, it's going back to the charity shop. Um, sorry if that come, came across really rude and blunt then. I don't mean it to, it's just, I um, I just don't have the time. I, don't, I simply don't have the time. Um, the fact that my stock is spilling into this garage now, it tells me that um, I don't have the time. And I have put myself on a buying ban now because I just do not have 
the space and I'm getting really behind on my listings. So um, yeah, this is going to be it for a while in terms of buying. Um, it has to be because I can't start using this as a permanent storage space. It's not um, feasible. Next up is a monsoon um, edge to edge cardigan. It's got a little bit of silk in it, which is why I picked it up, but it's quite a bread and butter piece. Bit of a waterfall detail too. And it is a UK 10. Uh, nice piece. Uh, in good condition. Then I picked up a brand that I've obviously seen but never picked up and it's Eastex. And the reason I picked it up is because it's part of their heirloom collection. And it's this burgundy cardigan with navy blue detailing on it. Um, really nice detailing. Like that's taken um effort to do all around the collar around the buttons and it's um a wool blend i believe 50 percent wool yeah i think that's made in the uk as well i believe um but yes um pick that up might not be worth anything again worth a go very much worth a go and oh, there we have the belt for that dress before. Let me put that with that so that I don't lose it. Then I picked up, um, this is a white stuff jumper and I don't usually pick up white stuff, but it's in really good condition. It's got a roll neck to it and like a crocheted thing on the shoulders. And it's also a merino wool blend, hence picking it up. I know it's out of season. Again, with the cardigan, it's out of season. But hopefully it will sort itself. And finally um, is a pair of like long shorts, three quarters. These are Toast and they are a size 10. Um, I know Toast is a nice brand. Not sure how their denim sells, I assume. Hopefully, quite well. Um, a toast for a pound. Very happy about that. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'd love this to be a first of videos coming from the garage and this being my tap cave. And how dreamy would that be? But unfortunately, reality is that that's just not going to happen. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, stick around for more content. I'm wanting to diversify a bit as we move forward. Um, done an awful lot of eBay hauls relentlessly. Um, Want to show you some other stuff. Keep it interesting and make it interesting for me to film as well. I do find it interesting to film these, but it just feels a bit repetitive when you film them week after week after week. So, Thanks for watching. How many times am I going to say that? Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, give it a like, leave me a comment and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again very soon with another video.